Nearly four months since 29-year-old mother Peggy McGuire disappeared. Tonight, we're combing through new documents revealing evidence OSBI agents recovered when they searched her home and property. Two Works For You reporter Nathan Edwards speaks with her friends about the findings. Peggy's co-workers at this rehab center in Eufaula are relentless in their effort to keep this search alive, while OSBI investigators remain silent about their investigation. We got new shirts in yesterday. They bring Peggy home on the front and Team Peggy on the back. Tina Bradford isn't letting up, taking every opportunity she can to keep Peggy McGuire's name and story in the public eye. Anything putting her name out there is going to put it in front of somebody's face that may know something. She and other workers at Wellington Hills Rehab Center are following the investigation closely, growing impatient as each day passes. I know OSBI is working, but just out in the public's eye, it doesn't seem like anything's happening. Right now, OSBI agents are analyzing evidence from a Stidham home and surrounding 80 acres, where Peggy lived with her child's father, Thomas McIntosh. I hope um, they can find something and bring, you know, so it can bring peace to her mom. Records show investigators took swabs of blood-like stains on a couch and off the back porch, also taking samples of stains found in the bucket of a front-loading tractor. It gives us a lot of hope that they are getting closer. OSBI also finding a leather glove with red stains on it in Thomas McIntosh's truck. And learning Peggy's pistol she carried everywhere is also missing. We need to know something. Who did it? I mean, you know, why? and why? They, and they need to be brought to justice. Peggy's co-workers continue their campaign to bring her home and pray for some closure. She was a great nurse, a great person just overall. I mean, her presence is greatly missed. OSBI also recovered phone records, Facebook information, and financial statements. So far, no charges have been filed. In Eufaula, Nathan Edwards, Two Works for You. An update.